Hey girls, I'm going to go ahead and do my first official pregnancy vlog. Today I am eight weeks, three days. Um, just to recap, I don't even know how far I should go back. Okay, week five, this will be quick. Week five, um, the only symptoms I had were some severe cramping. If you go back a few videos ago, you can see me um, thinking that I was going to miscarry because the cramping was so bad. I also had some insomnia um, accompanied with some really vivid dreams and then TMI, but I was extremely gassy. And then week six, uh, the nausea kicked in. So week six, it was just terrible. Um, I had some breast tenderness, I'm trying to think of everything I had, still the gassiness. Um, but mainly the nausea just took over big time. Week seven, um, I had to get on prescription Zofran for the nausea and vomiting. Um, maybe if I were a stay-at-home mom or I stayed at home, I really don't have a reason to stay at home. My daughter's 17. Who's stay at home when your kid's 17? But if I didn't have to work, I could probably handle the um, morning sickness, but um, I do, so I couldn't... I can't throw up on my patients, so I'm a busy nurse and I can't be, I can't really um, vomit or be nauseous. So, um, yeah, I had to take the Zofran. I take eight milligrams. Um, sorry, somebody's looking, so you guys know I'm faking like I'm on my phone. I take eight milligrams um, twice a day. So one in the morning, one in the evening. And that, that seems to be okay. What Zofran does for me is it doesn't take away the nausea it takes away the vomiting so I still feel nauseous a lot of the day towards the end of the day it'll ease up on me but um it just makes it to where I, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to puke on anybody so that was week seven week eight now I'm in week eight um same thing just extreme nausea vomiting I've learned this week right at the beginning of this week that diet is very extremely important when you have I don't have more I don't have morning sickness I have called what's called hyperemesis it became really popular when Kate Middleton had it but I had it with my first daughter 18 years ago so diet is really important like for me I know I can't have milk um I have to eat really 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 light like when I get up in the morning I set my alarm for an hour from when I would normally get up. So I would normally get up at 6.30. I, now I get up at 5.30. I take the Zofran, which melts in my mouth. It's not a pill. If it was a pill, I would just throw it right back up. So, But it disintegrates into my mouth, so that makes it easier. It takes about 10, 15 minutes for it to work. Once I feel it start working, then I eat saltine crackers, about five or six of them. Then I'm able to get up and take a shower and get ready. And then um, on the way to work, I have saltines everywhere. I have saltines on my car, saltines on my nightstand. I munch on more saltines. Uh, I have a little bit of water in between because um, my OB told me, try not to drink while you eat. Drink before or after. And lo and behold, it worked. It, it really works. So um, I also have a banana, which at some point in the next hour or two I'll eat. And that's it. That's breakfast. And then uh, lunch, I'll go really light. Salad, fruit, something like that. Um, in between, I'll have snacks. So I can't... I'm so hungry all the time, but eating what I want to eat, a big, giant, juicy cheeseburger, it's just... Mm -mm, it's, ne it's never going to fly. So that's what it is. Small sacrifice, you know, whatever. I have to do what I have to do to get through it. I'm hoping that it'll um, ease up in the second trimester, but you know, who knows? And my daughter, I, I think the last time I threw up with her was seven months pregnant. So thank God for Zofran, because if I, if it wasn't for Zofran, I'd have to go on disability and we're trying to buy a house and we were going to buy the house in April, but the baby's due in uh, March now. So, you know, yada, yada, like I really need to be working. So, um, if you follow me on Facebook, you guys know I got rid of my first OB. I just had a few. Uh, the first time I went to him, um, it was a really long wait. I had to leave and I had to go on my lunch break. So I let that slide. The second time I went to him, there was no appointment for me on the books. That was that. I just like, 
I've been trying to get pregnant for six years and one month and I'm not gonna deal with this. So I stopped seeing him and now I see um, a doctor that's closer to my house. I saw her for the first time yesterday. She was awesome, loved her. Um, she did an ultrasound. The Again, the ultrasound picture is on my Facebook page, but here it is, it's on my phone. Uh, okay, do I have that right yet? So there, little boo-boo right there. Um, by my last menstrual period, I'm eight weeks and two, or I was eight weeks and two days yesterday. By um, the measurement from crown to rump, or the size of the baby, um, I'm eight weeks and four days. So baby's already ahead of schedule. And the heart rate was 168. So I'm feeling confident, confident enough to finally start do a pregnancy vlog. Um, me and hubby have been to Baby's R Us. Uh, bye bye, baby. We, we've been to a bunch of baby stores. We have yet to buy anything. We've just been kind of looking, shopping around, seeing what things cost. You guys know if you've been following me, I haven't had a baby in 18 years and neither has he. So we have nothing. We don't even know what things cost anymore. We're both really nervous to buy anything um, yet. I don't know when we'll, you know, bite the bullet and buy something. I'm not sure. Um, but in order to um, fight the urge to buy baby stuff, I've been buying pregnancy stuff. Like I bought, um, um, I've already bought some maternity jeans, some maternity shirts, which I'll do a maternity clothing haul. I love those videos. So I'll, I'll do one of those for you guys, but I'm not really buying anything for the baby. I'm pregnancy buying. I'm not baby buying. Um, my weeks turn over on Mondays. So I'll probably, I won't do a video this Monday cause I'm doing this video. I'll probably do a, a video the following Monday. Really, um, for us for right now, nothing really is too much different. I'm sick all the time 24 hours a day um my my breast tenderness comes and goes it's it's really weird it's not it's not bad like it was in week five it just some days i have it some days i don't which is when i don't have it it's okay with me um what else i think that's it due date is 310 still 310 2014 um i think that's it i hope i'm not forgetting anything if you guys um, have a question, just ask me. But yeah, and so I'll come back in a week and uh, do the next one. I can't really do a belly shot, but there's no, let me see if I can. Um, there's no belly. I, let me see. See, there's no, there's no belly. This is what I look like before I was pregnant. There's nothing, you know. What, what's here is what's always been here. So, um, with my daughter, I did not show till I was about six months. And I'd be okay with that again. That's fine with, with me. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I When I watch these videos, I'm like amazed at people having bellies at like 9, 10, 11 weeks. So I was like, oh boy, wow. Um, I don't expect to see anything for a long time. I was going to go get a um, Doppler, a Sonaline B fetal Doppler. But I, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll just be too obsessed with it. And um, at this last video, we were able to hear the heartbeat. She did, She put it on a, um, audio. So we got to see the ultrasound. Plus, we got to hear the actual heartbeat. And I'm going to see her in two more weeks just for reassurance, a reassurance ultrasound. Because she said, since you've been trying for so long, let's um, let you have another ultrasound in two weeks. And I'm sure I'll hear the heartbeat then, too. So I don't think I'm going to get one. I, I don't want to start being obsessed with it. And that's my personality, so... Anyway, oh my god, this thing is turning into 10 minutes. So um, I'm going to go. Uh, if you have questions, leave them below. And um, I just want to say to the ladies that are my bump buddies, um, Kyle is pregnant. I'm so over the moon, excited, happy for her. That's awesome. Um, she's been trying probably as, not as many years, but um, when I got on YouTube, she's one of the ones that I... Um, that I followed. So I'm extremely happy for her. Her IVF worked, her second IVF worked. So yay, Kyle. So excited to be pregnant with you. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to go. I'll see you soon. Bye.